Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. On Tuesday, November 7th at 8.25 p.m. Mountain Time, 2017, giving you a fracking update. What you're looking at is earthquakes in Oklahoma up to November 1st, 2013. And you can see there were 6,000 earthquakes between 2000 and 2013 in Oklahoma. Now, prior to that time, Oklahoma reported an average of three earthquakes annually. If we come over to the map and go seven days all mag, what will be revealed to you are the earthquakes caused by fracking. If we come over to Oklahoma specifically, And we can discount the quakes over to the east there in the New Madrid Fault Zone because they've banned fracking in that zone. In a thousand square mile area, I covered that the other day, but in Oklahoma City, they have not. Deep well injection is prolific. And if you look at these stacks, these are stacks of dozens of quakes. And that attests to the voluminous nature of the toxic waste being injected into the ground in these areas. Tens of millions of gallons have got to be pumped in the deep subsurface to get this kind of a result. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because there are new details that have been revealed in the state's earthquake hearings. And I want to send a shout out to Corky999, one of our subscribers, for sending me this information. This is the transcript from the court documents that were just released. You can see the date there, November 6th. Now, what I already know and many of you know is that fracking and deep well injection causes earthquakes. Now, the problem is that shale gas plays exist all over the North America here. Look at it. And I just moved out of this area where they've been fracking this for decades. But a new technique in fracking came out uh, in the turn of the century, just right around 2000. It's a new version of hydraulic fracturing or fracking. And allow them to get a better result than the original methods. So that you could get gas out of more areas than ever before. And it involved using a proprietary solution of salt water and other toxic ingredients including heavy metals and sometimes radioactive material to coax the gas out of the shale plays and to come up that pipeline. What you get is earthquakes, unnatural earthquakes. And we're going to be covering these unnatural earthquakes. Look at the central U.S. earthquake map here from 1973 to 2016 and you're looking at two dots, two dot colors red and blue. The blue dots are before the heyday of major fracking operations and the red dots are after fracking. You can see that the red dots that overlay shale gas plays are clearly fracking earthquakes. Now, seismologists, <laughs> and if you come to Oklahoma, and just the activity that we just looked at, it's a no-brainer. So geologists have been concluding that the fracking is causing these earthquakes for years. But government entities and organized crime have been strong-arming the scientists. Same thing's happening with global warming nonsense. If you put out real science that says, no, there is no global warming, you get shoved in the corner, shunned, and shut out. Now, more evidence is coming to light showing that scientists at the Oklahoma Geologic Survey were pressured not to publicly connect the state's dramatic increase in earthquakes with oil and gas activity. Now, it's so embarrassing because beginning in 2009, the frequency of earthquakes in the U U.S. state of Oklahoma rapidly increased from an average of fewer than two 3.0 magnitude earthquakes per year to hundreds and then thousands of earthquakes per year. 
coinciding exactly with the time of the oil and gas industry putting in tens of thousands of shale gas oil wells. Huh, no connection. So more evidence is coming to light showing that scientists at the Oklahoma Geologic Survey were pressured not to publicly connect the state's dramatic increase in earthquakes with oil and gas. I wonder if the oil and gas industry had anything to do with that. The latest evidence comes from sworn testimony from the state's former seismologist, Dr. Austin Holland. Dr. Holland was deposed October 11th in New Mexico, where he now works for the USGS. He's a potential witness in a lawsuit filed over damages caused by the 2011 Prague earthquake. I'll leave you links to all of this. A blog post published last month by the plaintiff's law firm provided highlights of Dr. Holland's eight-hour de deposition. But Monday News 9 gained access to the entire transcript, thankfully. Now, Holland left the Oklahoma Geologic Survey and Oklahoma in 2015, five and a half years after taking what he called was his dream job. You know, state geologist, top guy, Oklahoma first began seeing an increase in seismicity in late 2009, and Holland led the state's scientific response to the quakes as they continued to increase at an alarming rate. As Oklahoma state seismologist, he became the face of the earthquake issue, doing media interviews and often taking criticism for those who felt the state was ignoring other research that suggested oil and gas activities was causing these tremblers. Well, no, duh! In the deposition, Holland acknowledged he dealt with political pressures that other scientists didn't. He said the final straw for him was being told by Larry Griot, then dean of Ohio U's Mewborn College of Earth and Energy, that peer-reviewed journal articles he co-authored on induced seismicity was unacceptable. That's what my people say. According to the transcript, Holland testified, I was just disappointed and devastated, and you know, it was one of those moments in life, you don't have many, where you wish you would have recorded a conversation, because I did not expect the conversation to go where it went, and it was just really disappointing. It was sort of like realizing I could no longer be a scientist in an environment that I thought was my perfect job. No, you couldn't. There's no such thing as science anymore, Mr. Holland, unfortunately. It's all corporate crony capitalism corporate-controlled mob, mob mentality. It's all nonsense. There is no science. In response to previous stories suggesting Holland had been pressured not to link Oklahoma's earthquakes with oil and gas, Ohio U's officials have insisted that Holland had total academic freedom to pursue the science as long as it didn't say that fracking caused earthquakes. Holland's testimony suggests otherwise. That's the state of science, folks. It's disgusting. Equally as disgusting as the amount of earthquakes that the oil and gas industry are causing in North America and worldwide. Now, we need the fuel to keep us warm and to run our things, and there's tons of it in America, and we could be self-sufficient. The problem is that these well casings are going to fail, and they have no nothing in place for the catastrophe that will happen when all these deep well injection casings fail. As far as the earthquakes are concerned, they're everywhere. Everywhere that oil and gas is being pumped into the subsurface, there are unnatural earthquakes that are man-made, caused by the oil and gas industry. And yes, Texas, more than half of the earthquakes that occur in Texas are probably induced by oil and gas, or almost certainly induced by oil and gas, or possibly induced. That's 75% there. In Missouri, these are oil and gas plays, and deep well injection of toxic material is being injected in the ground there as well. So guys, I'll leave you this map. This is a heads up. I live in the Four Corners region, but I'm up here in the South San Juan wilderness, and my water flows off of the Continental Divide. There are no oil and gas wells above my properties. We're safe because we're in a restored valley that oil and gas will not be coming here in the future. Never was here. So do your research. Live where the groundwater is safe. There's a great aquifer here in New Mexico that's safe. All in this region has delicious water. It's a heads up.
but the oil and gas industry is causing earthquakes at an alarming rate. And I covered how they're pumping so close to the New Madrid zone, even though it is banned within a thousand square mile area. That may not be enough. Hope you got something out of the video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do so now. We just launched a Patreon page. If you want to support our efforts and get some of the booty and the benefits of our farm, including open pollinated seeds for just a buck a month, you can be on a private monthly live stream with us, ask questions, and get those seeds. So check out our Patreon and be safe.